Welcome everybody to another tutorial on SkySiv. Uh, today I'm going to take you through a simple example of how to use the free online trust calculator on SkySiv's website. Um, so to get access to this, you just go skysiv.com and then under free tools tab, there's just a little button, a little uh, menu there option called trust calculator. So this is the actual calculator itself. Uh, so it's quite a simple interface and I'm just going to take you through a simple 2D trust structure example. So I'm going to start by adding nodes. And the nodes are going to be basically the start and end position of all of our members. And it's just built in uh, 2D space. So it's just a matter of entering the X and Y coordinates of your nodes. And you can see as I'm entering them, they're showing up on that diagram on the right. And you can see I've got my nodes there all taking shape. And you can see what kind of shape I'm going for there for my trust structure. The next thing is we obviously want to add is members. So it just go members and then it's got node A to node B. So I'm just going to go one to four and you can see them highlighting and then it shows up once you commit those changes. Uh, another way you can do it is actually just by clicking and dragging between the nodes and you can see they highlight orange again to let you know that, that that's linking up. So that's another quick way to, to add your members to your structure. And what, I'm, what I can also do is edit really quickly. So if I want to change this node, um, you'll, and I'll just change up to 17.5. You'll just notice that that will shift across, but the members are still connected to that node there. So you make changes quite quickly and easily. Uh, next thing I want to do is just add some support. So this is where the structure is going to be restrained. And I'm just going to add a pin support at 1 and 3. So I'll just go 1, 3. So I can do this all in one step. And I'll choose a pin support for this case, but I could choose fixed, roller, pinned, or another roller as well. And I can see uh, the green squares are shown there just to show that it's been supported from the base. And finally, I'm just going to add a point load. So I'll add a point load at node 4. And I'll give it a little bit of an X magnitude, but mainly it's going to be in the Y. So negative 20 kilonewtons. And I can see that's showing up there. So finally, I've built my structure. I've uh, supported it and I've loaded it. It's ready to be solved. So I just hit this green solve button down here. And once that's solved, you'll notice that the button's turned red on the left and I can view my reaction. So these are my reactions that support, which I can see there is an X and Y uh, proportion to that. Um, and I can also view my axial forces as well. So red being in compression, green in tension. Um, I can see all the magnitudes of the uh, compressive or tension forces in these members. Um, and the rest of the results, so displacement stresses, they're all, they're all locked, but they are available under one of our paid options, which is student professional uh, options. That actually gives you access to full 3D structural analysis program. Um, otherwise, I can just go back and maybe I want to change this load or add another load. I can, I can simply just click that load, maybe change up to minus 40, um, go back and solve. So it makes iteration really quickly. No, that was prompting me. There is a limit to how many um, solves you can do in a day. So um, if, if you hit this limit, simply sign up to a, a free version of our software and it'll allow you to save and load files. You can have as many solves as you like. So it is uh, an easier way. Uh, sorry, it is a better way to use a program because it's uh, it gives you more functionality. But that's a simple case of how to use the trust calculator. Uh, feel free to email us if you have any questions. Otherwise, uh, visit us at www.skysiv.com and try it for yourself. Thanks.